New at six, Frank Lloyd Wright, known as America's greatest architect, now has a trail in his name. Ben Jordan shares how the trail will take travelers on a tour of some of Wright's best known work. Charles and Shannon, that self-guided tour starts right here in Racine on a journey through nine counties that's expected to bring a boost to state tourism. Those who live in southeastern Wisconsin are starting to notice these brown signs popping up along their drive. I think it's great. Keeps them on the map. More than a hundred of them guide the way to a lasting legacy of Frank Lloyd Wright. It's sometimes for something we take for granted, uh, for the genius of Frank Lloyd Wright. Governor Walker signed legislation to line the trail from Racine, highlighted by the S.C. Johnson Administration Building and Research Tower. The path leads to Milwaukee for the well-known Burnham Houses, then west for a total of nine stops. The state is home to more than 40 of his designs. Some like this church in Wauwatosa and the Elizabeth Murphy House in Shorewood didn't make the cut. There was two criteria and one is that they have to be open to the public. And the other thing is with the trail going through nine different counties, it had to be within 15 miles of highway access. Director of Wisconsin Department of Tourism Stephanie Klett says these sites have been promoted for years, but now with more exposure. It brings in a lot of ins outside people. I do Airbnb and a lot of people come in just for that. And if you don't feel like following the signs, there is also an app called the Frank Lloyd Wright Trail. It has maps and descriptions of each stop along the way. Reporting in Racine, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. Gonna Pretty have to cool. hit the trail this summer. Yeah.